Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday. We had uh, as much as three or four inches in some areas, so I had to take the day off yesterday. But today I'm going back to uh, my uh, composting experiment. And if you recall, uh, on that last segment, I uh, I uh, put together a concoction of uh, uh, enzyme juice and uh, some lactic acid and hopefully some uh, beneficial microbes. So what I did, I left it in the, I left it in this uh, jug for uh, oh a couple of days, and uh, I just checked it. It smells fine. Doesn't it's not turn in rancid or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I took about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a cup or so, a little over a cup, cup and a half of that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my uh, aerating uh, comp compost tea um, bucket. And I'll show you how I do that. I, I kind of come up with a, a, new, uh, a new method of doing that. And it really, it really wasn't original to me. I happened to spot it on YouTube. But what happens is uh, that black tubing is what the uh, what you can get at the um, well I think I got it at Walmart actually. It's for uh, watering around trees and things like that. So I said well that will make it perfect thing for my bucket. So then I just take and fabricated this little this little uh, metal thing and what I'll do is, it's got prongs on the end of it, so I'll push this down all the way to the bottom until those little prongs, they tend to grab, uh, grip the side of the, they grip the side of the uh, bucket. Okay, and then, uh, let's see, that one's not all, all the way on. we go. So they tend to grip the side of the bucket to hold uh, hold that thing down. And then uh, I just turn my bubbler on. And I don't know if you can see it really well, but it does send up a pretty good uh, bunch of small air bubbles. Now I know there's some controversy about how big the bubble should be and how many you should have and whether or not that's there's enough air coming through there for this but well for what it's worth uh, it's working for me so that's what I'm going to do um, so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour pour this uh, concentrate in there Give it a little swish, and I think there's enough molasses already in that mixture to give them some adequate uh, food to eat. So uh, I'm gonna let that set for oh at least 24 hours, and then come back and take a look at it, and uh, we'll see what's uh, we'll see what's going on. Oh, while well, I got you right out here by the by the little uh, frog pond, uh, I use that. Uh, lactic acid uh, formula to uh, basically uh, control algae and, and stuff in this little in this little pond uh, because my bubbler I, uh, I lost my bubbler it, uh, it crapped out and uh, I didn't want to go buy another one right now I did have a nice fountain coming up through here but I wanted to show you something if, if I can see it uh, what that lactic acid does to the livestock in here. Let's see, can you see him? Yeah, look at that big green frog, huh? Yeah. Don't know if anything that has anything to do with my water treatment, but uh, they seem they seem pretty happy. So there's a couple more. Okay, well, that's enough for now. Uh, we'll come back in uh, probably 24 hours or so and uh, 
see what's happening over here and I'll get you updated. Well, it's been uh, about 24 hours, maybe a little more. Uh, it's kind of late in the afternoon. Now the uh, sun's starting to go behind the trees. So uh, we're going to take a look at this, uh, at the uh, aerated concoction here. And uh, you can see it's, uh, it's bubbling pretty well. Uh, I checked it earlier in the day and it had quite a froth to it. Uh, now it looks like it's calming down a little bit. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably, I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to use this all up today. So um, um, probably what I'll do is I'll put some more, uh, I'll, I'll put some more molasses um, in there just to keep, uh, keep the herd, keep the herd going and make sure that everybody's happy. And uh, so one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup full of this and I'm going to go over to my little my little pond here and uh, I'm just going to a little froggy there I'm going to uh, put that in there and uh, that'll uh, help treat treat the water and uh, and keep it nice and the frogs will like it uh, up until it freezes and I'll have to get the frogs out before it freezes but anyway so that's one thing I'm going to do with this the other thing is I'm going to take my uh, my hose end sprayer I'll fill that up and uh, I'll put that uh, Put that on my hose, and then what I'll do is I'll go around and I'll uh, spray most of everything in the garden. And plus, I'm going to use this to inoculate my compost pile. So stick with me. So one of the first things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this uh, compost that it's uh, that I've been working on. It uh, it actually starts out over here in my uh, compost bin and uh, and then the uh, the uh, grandchildren bring over the lawn clippings and stuff like that and then I put some uh, coffee grounds and stuff like that and I'll, uh, I'll mix that all in and uh, and then I actually process it to a point uh, where it looks looks like this. So this is the stuff that I'm looking for. So I've got it hooked up to my uh, hose end sprayer and I've got it calibrated. It's, uh, it's set on uh, 8 ounces and uh, so that's basically the maximum that I can get out of it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that, if that means 8 ounces to the gallon or whatever it is but anyway I want to I want to use as much of it as I can so what I'll do I'll uh, take this compost like that, and then I'll just oops, change the nozzle on that but so what I'll do is I'll inoculate this and I'll keep doing that till I get all that done and then I'll go over on the compost pile and uh, the heap and I'll inoculate that too and then uh, when all that's all done I'll go out throughout the rest of the garden and I will spray everything in the garden. Now I'll cover this over with this top and I'll just let it set 
set here for a while and uh, and I'll come back and I'll uh, let that uh, saturate and basically that will start that'll actually start fermenting in that pile and uh, and we'll see what happens uh, I think uh, this will this is going to make some very fine uh, potting soil and uh, and um, I can use it uh, to uh, side dress my side dress my plants and uh, I think it'll be uh, great for the plants so what I'll do is I'll spray down all my uh, all my garden beds here and uh, like I said the uh, the nights are getting cooler it was down in the 50s last night but I think uh, I think this will help these uh, these plants um, become a little more cold resistant and uh, hopefully uh, that'll encourage them to grow a little more so that's what I'm hoping and uh, so I'll just go ahead and I'll spray everything down and uh, oh look at that the tomatoes are starting to blossom again that's uh, interesting okay so yeah I'm just gonna spray out everything and uh, see what happens thank you